Hi folks, St. Paul Steam here with a item that is not Steam related, but it's a toy and I like it just as well anyway. It's a late 40s, early 50s Depke model sand loader. And I've motorized this and uh, put a feed system in underneath it in the base. And uh, we're going to, this is the technical video. We're going to go all over that here in a minute. Uh, it's usually, uh, it's about four inches tall all the way around, except from the right hand side. It's a little taller. It's 25 and a quarter inches long and 11 and a half inches wide. And uh, we've got several features in here that modifications I've made to it. We got a new chain on it. It needed that. I put a uh, 80 RPM 12 volt motor inside this fake engine housing. And uh, we put rollerball bearings and these two idlers right there. I didn't in the the top here, the axle or the bottom, because it's just too much work to cut all that apart. It's all seamed together. And we have an auger system in here. I'll turn it over here in a minute and to show you underneath. It runs the whole length of the, just about the box. And it's torquey enough that I thought it might catch a child's finger and really do some damage, so I put a screen on top of it. It's got a, uh, well, I actually had to take two earth augers and uh, they're inch and three quarter round and Combine them both so I could get all the spirals I needed. And uh, it's in a two inch copper pipe. So, uh, and I run flax seed through it. And that seems to be the mess, best medium I've found because uh, it's a little bit slick and it doesn't compact when it gets to the end and it helps it bubble up down here, which is what I wanted it to do to feed the buckets. And uh, my plaque maker just got done making these very nice brushed aluminum plaques these are metal and uh, over here we have a uh, Urbest inlet module I wanted to be able to take the cord out of it uh, for transportation you know and this cord's not in the way and I found out I really needed an on and off switch found that out kind of the hard way but uh, I'll flip it over here in a second and let you look at the underside of it I've got some uh, locating blocks that the axle right there uh, keeps it in place and I've got a quick disconnect here I've already got disconnected um, so that this, this is easy transportable and now we're going to show you the underneath of it and this is where the flaxseed gets pumped up from be right back the auger has a high torque motor under it and uh, it's a 35 rpm I kind of guessed on that and I got lucky the feed's just about right on it. So we're going to flip this up, take a look underneath. And here's what we have. We have a uh, dual outlet 12 volt power supply. Got that from Amazon. I got the two augers from Amazon. There's the high torque motor there. I bought a, uh, the mounting bracket along with it. You see it's bolted right there. We've got everything held in place by a couple of uh, copper bands. And uh, there's our, of course, our switch. And, uh, pretty simple. I've got a couple of blocks to kind of keep the material in, top and bottom. And they do a good job. It's pretty simple. But uh, that's that. In the next video, I will uh, have it all running. It's a lot of work to empty it out just to be able to see the underneath of it and everything. Because this holds uh, two pounds of flaxseed. It still gets it a little bit. It'll cover the whole base there eventually but uh, with loose droppings. But uh, that's just the way it is. I haven't been able to uh, get that any tighter. I've done a few modifications. Well, actually a bunch, but. Put a couple of side plates on there that helped really keep a lot of the material in. And of course this just plugs in right here. Put that down in there, locate it. So now it's good and stationary, those blocks. And that should be ready to go in a minute. Alright, thanks for looking folks. Bye now.